This video shows how to create ribbon plots. They're new in Stack Graphics 18. Ribbon plots are used to display a response surface. The height of the surface is illustrated by a color ranging from blue for low to red for high. They have an advantage over standard contoured surface plots in that you can see through the bottom of the surface. When you create a ribbon plot in Stack Graphics 18, you'll be asked to set various options. The first option is the scaling. That affects the range of colors from low to high by a certain increment. The second setting is the direction of the ribbons. Are they horizontal, parallel to the x-axis, or are they vertical, parallel to the y-axis? The third option is the number of ribbons to be drawn. 10 is the default. The fourth option is resolution. That defines how fine the grid is for evaluating the function. 101 means the function will be evaluated over a grid of 101 by 101 points. Finally, you can ask for narrow, medium, or wide ribbons. To create a ribbon plot in Stack Graphics 18, go to the top menu, select Plot, Surface and Contour Plots. When the dialog box appears, type in the function you want to plot in terms of X and Y. For example, I've asked to plot X plus Y minus 2 times X times Y. Specify the range over which the function will be plotted for X and also the range for Y. When you press OK, a list of tables and graphs will appear. Select Ribbon Plot and press OK. The procedure will now evaluate the function over a 101 by 101 grid. When it's done, it will plot the functions coloring the ribbons from red to blue. If I want to, I can use the slider bars on the analysis window to rotate the function and see it from a different angle. I can also press the right mouse button, go to Graphics Options, and select a different palette. For example, I might like to select a monochrome palette. That takes a single color and shades it from light to dark. As you can see, a ribbon plot is an interesting new way to look at response surfaces.